Meanwhile, four people have been killed in protests in Haiti over the past few days, as tens of thousands have taken to the streets to demand that the country's president resign. It seems like a couple of times a year we hear stories like this on the news, but what most media outlets never mention is the fact that the United States, through military intervention and uh, coups, have shaped Haiti in many ways. More than Haitians have shaped themselves. Here's what's worse. Our most high-profile politicians, families like the Bushes and the Clintons, are largely responsible for the government that Haitians are protesting against. Here to talk about uh, this is, uh, and what the U.S. role is, and Haiti's problems, is Jamima Pierre. Ms. Pierre is a professor at uh, UCLA. She's preparing a book that's called Haiti, the Second Occupation. Uh, professor, thanks so much for being with us. You know, uh, being from Miami, obviously, I have a lot of ties, both personal and journalistic, to the Haitian community. And uh, I've always heard a true disappointment with uh, the Clintons after the earthquake and their role, which is, frankly, described with one word for most of the people that I talk to, corrupt. Is that accusation true? Should that stick? Uh, for the Clintons, yes, definitely. Um, I, I think the Clintons, you know, I, I wrote a piece a long time ago called Bill Clinton Loves Haiti, um, where, you know, there, there's a discourse that, you know, uh, what he's doing, what he did, especially after the earthquake, was because he loves so, Haiti so much. But the point, the, the reality is that Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton and, uh, as well, had, you know, the Clintons have not been um, good for Haiti. And we can go all the way back to Clinton's um, presidency, but I think for these protest, what's more important is Hillary Clinton's role as Secretary of State in installing um, Mar Michelle Martelly, which, who is the predecessor to the current Jovenel Moise, um, who's the president right now. And so Hillary Clinton played a, a very big decisive, uh, a decisive role in forcing um, uh, Martelly's election right after the earthquake um, um, and, and, and mm. then allowing the emergence of this, this really um, um, rogue uh, government that the people don't want at this point. So that's an interesting, uh, it's interesting what you're saying, because it's really a double-pronged uh, attack, if you will, that the Clintons have uh, forged against the Haitian people. One, after the earthquake, they essentially had a foundation that uh, didn't do its job. They were supposed to provide housing. Instead, it was disastrous what happened, and a lot of people walked away with a lot of millions of dollars instead of the Haitian people. That's one. Then, that was the husband. That's Bill Clinton. Then Hillary Clinton walks right. in, and she essentially gives them a lead who is as corrupt as the system that we just talked about, right? That is correct. And, and you know, and, and to be fair, the, the, the truth is, you know, the U.S. policy against Haiti has always been one of imperialism. And, and, what's, and, and so Hillary Clinton, of course, is definitely was behind the push to actually install Martelly, who they thought would be amenable to U.S. policies, continuing U.S. imperialism in, in, in the country. And so she, um, you know, she played this role. And then Clinton, after the earthquake, was, uh, was, became U.N. special envoy and then was uh, co-chair of the recovery uh, 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 funds for for mm. Haiti the 13 billion dollars that were dispersed and he basically was you know the governor and treasurer of, of Haiti you know he decided where funds went and so on let me ask you a question that a lot of people talk about when they hear about Haiti Haiti's a mess it's never going to be fixed it was horrible during baby doc and papa doc the Duvaliers it was no better during Cedras and there's always going to be somebody in that country who is not good it's impossible to fix that country to which you say what well, what I say is, if you're, if, 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 if the only time you hear about Haiti is when you have protests of the people out, you know, uh, uh, going against continued U.S. imperialism, then of course you would say that. But to, to think about Haiti um, um, in terms only of these specific crises, to actually completely ignore the continuous role over 200 years of U.S. imperialism in Haiti. What's happening now is a, a severe gas shortage that people are protesting against. They're protesting against this gas shortage because 
um, the president is trying to raise gas prices. But this also means the president is being forced to raise gas prices because the IMF is asking the president huh. to, to, to get rid of subsidies because the U.S. government is trying to squeeze Venezuela because of the Petrocari uh, uh, arrangement that Chavez had set with a lot of with about 17 Caribbean countries. And so what's going on is these protests then are the Haitian people are paying for the corruption that emerges from the Petrocari scandal, which is and the corruption comes from the people who are installed by the U.S. government wow. to run this country. In addition to the core group, the core group which make the decision and the core group is a group that was established Right, right after the coup d'etat in 2004, and it contains about seven uh, European nations, and as well as the OAS and UN, that basically decides whether or not Jovedel uh, Moise uh, goes. And so at this point right now, the core group is split, and the U.S. and Brazil are the two major members of the core group that are forcing, that are forcing um, uh, Jovenel to stay even when the people don't want it. That is such a smart conversation of a very complex situation. In right. the end, it sounds like you're saying that if you're a poor country in the Caribbean or Latin America and you don't suck up to the United States, get ready to have your economy hurt and get ready for a lot of corruption. Fabulous. Uh, that, that is correct. Thank you. Uh, we, we appreciate your time, Professor, and your expertise. Meanwhile, tonight, a massive iceberg.